bit of woman here. Welcome to my series on easy DIY woodworking projects that is for you to make and to make your home look fabulous and that you can do in a weekend. For today's project we're going to look at the bathroom and some bathroom solutions for your towel. We'll make an easy towel rack uh, where you can put your roll towels and stack it up so for your towel um, storage solution the first thing you need to do is bring out one sample towel maybe your largest towel so that we can do measurements in this particular project there will not be set measurements but I will guide you in the description below as to how I made the measurements so that you can see with your piece of wood how you can manage to do if you want if you have bigger towels it obviously means that your rack will have a wider uh, uh, space between and if you have smaller towels you want to have two pieces that are closer so for this project what you will need is of course your largest towel we have a just an off-cut two by three piece of wood that's lying around here in the yard we're going to use a sander this time because the wood is really in a bad shape and the sander is our friend with this particular sander we have an 80 grit paper and we have a hundred and twenty paper so all depending on um, the shape of um, and the condition of your wood uh, you most likely recommendation would be uh, 100 to 120 um, sanding paper. Of course we'll need our standard wood glue, a measuring tape and for this we're going to use a countersink um, drill bit. Of course our drill is here so this will afford us to make a little deeper uh, um, countersink so that the screw head can sit deeper into the wood and in order to cover that up we're going to put some wood fuller in. Of course we're going to have our screws and in this case we're going to have wood screws Our and with this uh, spatula for the wood fuller to use and a skill saw for cutting the wood into pieces and we need um, some screws for the wall with the fisher plugs to go into the wall so for this particular project not a lot of, of, of items that you would need for something that's going to look really really fabulous so let's get started and we're back after we've made our cuts um, as I told you that based on the pieces of wood that you have, you have to see what measurements fit for you. In my case, I did a 50 centimeter pole uh, cut on the long of wood pieces. We did 15 um, centimeters on the smaller ones and they're all equally sized. And so now we're going to get to assembly. Also what you need to remember is the sanding is your friend to sand and I, as you can see I did a lot of sanding on the particular pieces so now with assembly the idea is to essentially just um, add add this on this particular way right another one upright um, actually let's do it that way another one upright and then we repeat the pattern on the other side. So let's get to assembling. assembling our pieces we still have uh, loose pieces that we needed to to put in I wanted to show you how I assembled it you can also see perhaps from the side how that looks like so 
you'll see that I've drilled holes in, pre-drilled holes. This goes towards the wall. This is for the wall. And then the idea is to stack your towels on the inside like that so that it leans against the wall all right so we are not done yet we still need to finish assembling and then do a little bit of sanding and in this case because the wood looks so plain i think it would be nice with a little bit of a dark stain so let's get to finish the piece our towel rack is dry as you can see we sanded it off a little bit and now our next task is to take the wood fuller and fill in the little indented uh, where the screws have gone in. We don't want to see the screws and so we're using a wood fuller just to put it in there. You can see, push it down, pull it clean a little bit, some more. Keep on, keep on doing that and then you can always, once it's dry, you sand it off. All right, you continue on with all the screws. Our towel rack is dry and uh, the fillings are also dry. As you can see, I've already sanded things off. And for this, I think it would be really nice in a darker stain. And so we're going to go with our emboya again our wood dye, our wood stain, and this time, got a glove. You have to be safe. And we're going to just put it on. I like applying mine with a cloth. I think it's a, it gives it a much nicer finish, just applying the wood stain on. And then after we have finished applying the stain, I'm gonna put a little bit of wax on it and mount it to the wall and finish it up. So here we are, here we are viewers. We're finished with another project and um, just a little bit of scrap wood and you can do something for your storage. I think it looks really good. A little uh, polishing or a varnish on it and it looks like it's ready for, looks like it's ready for the bathroom. That's all I can say. What do you think? Leave your comments down below and subscribe if you want to see more content on simple DIY woodworking projects. From Kubeta Woman, love and kisses. See you next time.